Hello, hello. Hello, good evening. Can you hear me, everyone? Hello, hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you, Anto uh, Nelson? I'm fine, teacher. Excellent. How was your day? My day, it, it was a little, a little hard, but I'm okay. That's great. I'm happy you are here in the class. Welcome. Let's see, let's Thank see. You. Who else is there? Ah, I can see Jasmine. Hello, Jasmine. Finally, I see you. How are you? Do you feel better? Yes, a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's, I, I just missed you, your camera on, but now you're here. <laughs> That's great. Yes, I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> That's great. I'm happy you're here and I'm I'm happy you feel better. Great. Excellent. Thank you. All right. Welcome everybody. Welcome to the class. Thank you so much for being on time. And today is Wednesday. So basically, everybody, we are in the middle of the week. Today, we are going to finish the unit number two. Okay. So that means that now that all the topics are covered, that means that you have to finish the uh, first exam that is on the platform. Okay. Now there are not excuses, you have to do it. But before that, who else is there? Welcome everybody. Only, only Erika has the camera on and the rest of you, come on everybody, I want to see you. Remember, camera is not optional, it's an obligation, okay? Come on, my goodness. Okay, let's see. Who else? Who else? Oh, I got Gabriel is listener, Selvin too. I can see. Oh, I can see Jamie. Hello, Jamie. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. <laughs> how about you? <laughs> so far, so good. Thanks for asking. How was your day? It was. It was. <laughs> it was quiet. It was quiet because I don't have um, many activities, but but I so so I can do um, You could do so what? Um, I cannot hear you. Oh, you can say you can say errands like mandados, right? Like errands. I'm sending in errands. Es como decir mandados, right? So I'm sending in the chat. Let's see. Errands. So that word is like to say trámites, mandados. Some activities that you had to do. So you can say errands. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, okay. So uh, I do, I do some errands. Okay. Hey. Import, important errands. That's <laughs> great. <laughs> okay. That's great. That's great. So who else is there? Ah, I can see Pamela. Hello, Pamela. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine, thanks. How was your day? It was um, a little tired because I have to to move from my office to another location and the traffic and all ah, like that. <laughs> I imagine that. So a lot of traffic today? Yes. My gosh. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that, but welcome to the class. Thank you. All right. Thank you for the one who has the camera on. For the ones who don't have the camera, come on, everybody. I want to see you, all right? 
Um, today is Wednesday, as I said some minutes ago. Um, remember everyone, uh, today we are going to finish the unit number two. That means that you have to complete the, um, the platform about the unit number two and also the exam. Some of you already finished the exam. Some of you haven't finished yet, but please do it. Finish the exam and also the platform in the unit number two. Some of you haven't finished not even the unit number one. So that's not possible. I'm going to share how you're going on the platform. Look at this. Can you see the platform? Yes. Yeah. So the idea is before Friday, this coming Friday, you had to finish the homework number two and the midterm, that is the exam, number, the first exams that appear on the platform, okay? This is before Friday, because today we're going to finish the unit number two. Some of you already finished both the homework and the exam, so that's awesome. But for the ones who hasn't finished, you had to do it before Friday, okay? I can see very good scores. Actually, most of you already finished and that's great. Some of you just need to finish the exam and that's great too. Some of you need to finish uh, the unit, but so far so good. Most of you already finished, so that's great. I can see some of you already finished uh, even the unit number three. So perfect. I mean, if you want to advance and, and um, continue working, you can do it. There's no problem. But it's really important everybody to work on the platform. Remember that that is not optional. If you want to move to the next level, you have to finish it. You can have a perfect attendance. You can uh, memorize all the topics, but and you can participate in the class, but if you don't finish the platform, you won't be able to move to the next level. So please be careful with that. Um, I know that there are some exercises and I know that there are some questions in the midterm that are a little bit confusing. And sometimes I think that the platform has some mistakes. So when you need help, just let me know and I will help you. I've been helping some of you that uh, you send me screenshots and I try to help. So if you got questions, let me know and I will help you. Okay. All right. Now let's start. I'm going to share with you the, um, the presentation. Can everybody see the presentation? Yes. 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 Excellent. Okay, so today is April 12th. We are in the week number three. Today is the last topic for the unit number two. And this is the topic, how to use enough with nouns. No. Some days ago, we studied enough, but with adjectives. Do you remember the topic? Yes. <laughs> and some of you are like, mm, I don't know, right? Hmm. So I got a sentence, for example, if I say, my car is, what is the correct one? If I got the adjective, well, I got the word enough and I got the adjective fast. So what is the correct order? If I got an adjective, my car is enough fast or fast enough. What do you think? Fast enough. Fast enough. Oh, fast enough. enough. All right, very good. So, that is the rule when we are working with adjectives, 
So today we are going to check what happens when I got nouns, okay? So this is the objective for today. I need a volunteer for reading, please. Only one. Yes, please. Plus objective. Use correctly the adverb enough to modify nouns. Thank you. So that is what we are going to do. And the idea, everybody, is to use perfectly both. Enough with adjective and with noun. Okay? So... Before starting the topic, we need to learn to identify when we have an adjective and when it is a noun. So look at here, we got different options. Let me open up and do it a little bit bigger. Let's see, where is it? Okay, here we are. Okay, look at here. If I got money, money is an adjective or is that a noun? A noun. A noun. A noun, definitely. What is the difference between a noun and an adjective? What is the difference? Uh -huh. the, the adjective describes noun. Excellent. Exactly. An adjective is a characteristic, right? It's describing the noun. So, Old. What is old? Adjective. Is an adjective. Oops. Is an adjective. And fast. Adjective. Adjective. All right. Egg. Noun. Noun. Is a noun. What about warm? Warm. Adjective. That's an adjective. How about people now a noun very good how about tests no no it's a noun very good how about strong it's a, an adjective it's, a, it's an adjective how about sugar noun it's a noun how about sweet Adjective. That's an adjective. adjective. Now, be careful because remember that some words in English, they can have different functions depending on the position or the context. Because sweet is an adjective. But for example, in the British English, sweet is a synonym of candy. So in that scenario, that can be a noun. So be careful. How about well? Correct. How about bright? Adjective. That's an adjective too. Water? So now. Now. It's a noun. Space. Now. What is a space? Now. 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 It's a noun. And coins? Now. It's a noun. Very good. So it is important, everybody, to identif identify when is a noun and when are we using the adjective, OK? When we learn to identify that, it will be easier to use correctly the word enough. Now, we are going to check some examples, but before that, I'm going to check attendance. So everybody, when you're listening to your names, stay present. Uh, Carlos Abrego? Very good. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on. Magdaleno, do you have a question? I'm sorry, I haven't seen it. Yes, Tisha. Mm -hmm. And uh, would you go back, please, with your presentation for take um, a screenshot for the adjectives, please? Oh, yeah, sure. 
And no worries that later I'm going to share with you this link because we are going to complete some exercises. Okay, so no worries. Okay, thank you, teacher. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Okay, uh, let's move on. Um, Christian Alexander. Present teacher. All right, very good. Erika Jasmine. Present. Okay. Uh, Fatima Denise. Present teacher. Very good. Um, Gabriel Beltran. Okay, very good. Hector Francisco. Hector Francisco. No? Okay. Let's see, let's see. Uh, um, Isabel Hernandez. Present, Miss. Very good. Ivan Guzman. Ivan. No? Okay. Um, Jamie Raquel. Present. Very good. Holman Hiron. Okay, very good. Um, Lucy Natalie. Oh, you're listening. Present. Okay, very good. Uh, Magdaleno Escalante. Present teacher. Very good. Nelson Antonio. Present. Very good. Oscar Armando. Okay, very good. Pamela Carolina. Present teacher. All right. Rosalina Alvarado. Present. Very good. Selvin Adonai. Selvin. Okay. Um, and Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Very good. Okay, let's start. Uh, let me share the presentation again. Now, pay attention to this uh, presentation. Here is the difference when we are using enough with adjectives and with nouns. It's very, very easy. Remember, if you have an adjective, first is the adjective and then is the noun. And that is the example. He is tall enough. First is the adjective and then the word enough. If it is in negative, it's exactly the same. You just need to add the word not. When you have a noun, it's the opposite, okay? First is the word enough and then is the word or the noun. So it's exactly the opposite. For example, he has enough money. You cannot say, ah, he has money enough. No, because it's not an adjective. So he has enough money to buy a new car. If you want to say it in negative, the same, okay? He doesn't have enough money. So that's the difference when we have enough with adjectives and nouns. Easy, yes or no? Is it clear? Yes? Could you repeat please? Sure. Thank you. When you are using enough, you just have to identify, do you have a noun or do you have an adjective? If you have an adjective, this is the position. First is the adjective and then is the word enough. If you don't have an adjective but a noun is the opposite. First is the noun, I'm sorry, first is enough and then is the noun. I'm going to give you an example. Imagine that I have the sentence, I ate, um, in past, I ate grapes. And I want to include the word 
enough. Where do I need to put the word enough? Here, I ate enough grapes or at the end, I ate grapes enough. What do you think? I ate enough grapes. Why? Because grape, uh, grapes is uh -huh. enough. Aha, uh -huh. very good. So grapes, it's a noun, it's not an adjective. So that's why the word enough goes first. Okay, another example, let's see. Mm, let's see, okay, a, an easy one. Okay, she is angry so i need to add the word enough where do i need to put the word enough um she is enough angry or she is angry enough angry enough why i know uh, yes. is angry enough because angry is yes. an adjective Yes. That's it. So you see, oops, enough. So that is exactly what you need to identify. If the word is an adjective, no problem. The adjective goes first and then the word enough. But if you have a noun, it's the opposite. First is the word enough and then the noun. Is it clear? Is it clear? Yes. yes, everybody? Yes. yes. Excellent. So that is basically the topic. It's a little bit easy. The most important thing here is identify the word, if it is an adjective or if it is a noun. Let's see more examples. On your manual, we have these examples. So in the page 23, Okay, if you got their manuals with you, let's go to the page 23. So remember that enough is a quantifier. Okay, so here we got enough with nouns. I need a volunteer for reading the first example, please. Could I try to check? Yes, please. The company does not have enough information about the customers to understand their needs. Thank you. So let me know. Uh, let me ask you. This sentence is affirmative or negative? It's negative. It's negative. So if you see, even if it is negative, the structure is the same. So look at the word. The word that I have here is information. Information is a noun or is that an adjective? No. Perfect, exactly. So I need a volunteer for reading the second example, please. Can I miss? Yes, please. We design enough promotion to create a short term increase in sales. Thank you. What is the noun? Look. Promotions. Very good. So we have nouns. That's why the word enough goes first. Volunteer for reading the next example, please. Can I? <laughs> okay, Jamie and the next one, Rosalina, please. Okay. This strategy may be used to distribute enough product. Very good. Look. Enough product. products. Very good. Okay, Rosalina, the next one, please. Okay. The store needs to sell enough items to continue in business. Very good. So all of these examples are with nouns so always the word he knows goes first a volunteer for reading the last example please
Uh -huh. Volunteer for reading. In teacher. Yes, please. There were not enough experts to perform the task. Very good. Look, experts. So be careful. There are some words that can be similar to the adjectives. For example, the word expert. If you remove the letter S and you say expert, in that case is an adjective. So we can say he is an expert, right? But you have to be careful in the function that the word is or the word has in the sentences, okay? Very good. So if you have a noun, the word enough goes first. As simple as that. Do you have any questions so far, everybody? Any questions? Yes? I, I don't have. No? Everything clear? Ready for an exam? Yes. 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 Ah, very good. Now, I'm going to explain this exercise. Do you remember this exercise? Let me do it bigger here. <laughs> I think you remember these sentences, don't you? Uh huh. Do you remember these sentences? The ones who worked on the platform? Yep. Yes. <laughs> uh huh. This exercise appeared on the platform and it was giving us like a lot of issues because uh, I think that in that scenario is a mistake from the platform. In some sentences, the platform was asking to write the full sentence, right? But in the number two, if you wrote the complete sentence, it was like a mistake. Uh -huh. So you just have to write like the last part. Yes. So I was sending uh, the answers. Some people sent me um, the screenshots. So I was trying to help. Actually, I remember that I sent uh, the answers uh, <laughs> on WhatsApp's group, right? Yes. Yes. Because yes. a lot of people had that issue. So every time, and this is not only for this level, everyone, this is for the next levels, specifically when you have to type, um, could, be mis could be or you can find some mistakes, okay? Because that's a problem with the platform. So sometimes you got the correct answers, but the platform got mistakes. So please, every time that you got that issues, take a screenshot and send it and ask, okay? So you can get the correct answers. So the marketing department has sent, what do you think? What will be the correct sentence here? Anyone, do you remember the answer? Hassan? Create enough interest. All right. So look at this one. If I have Hassan, what is the grammar tense? A simple present, simple past, present perfect. A simple present. Are you Third sure? Person, single present. Has. Okay, in this case, has is not working as the verb have, possession. Is the helping bear of the present perfect? So you had to say the marketing, uh, the marketing department hasn't created. Okay, so it's the translation will be like no one creado, right? So the marketing department hasn't created. So what is the correct answer here? Interest enough or enough interest? 
What do you think? I think that this enough interest. Because Why? interest is a noun. Ah, interest. what is the adjective in this case? Interest Inter is the noun. Uh -huh, Interesting. The adjective. That's correct. Very good job. So that is the correct answer. How about the number two? Our product. Uh -huh, for the ones who already finished the platform. Offer enough features and benefits. Okay, offer enough features and benefits. Do you agree, everybody? Yes, I agree. Excellent. Yes, yes. And that's the one, that's the one. Okay, the next one, the place strategy. What do you think? Demands enough channels of distribution. Ah, okay. Demands enough channels. Channels of distribution. Something that you have to keep in mind, and that's uh, another reason why sometimes in the platform you got some mistakes, is because of the spellings. Specifically, when we got third person, sometimes we forget to add the letter S. Sometimes we missed one letter and one letter is wrong. Everything will be wrong, okay? Number four, what will be the answer in the number four? Uh, retailers will... Okay, stock. Will it will stock enough goods and sell them. Very good. So be careful with this one because sometimes we see the word good and we think, ah, that's an adjective. Mm -mm. The if you add the letter S, goods, the meaning change. Okay. And the last one. I'm sorry? I don't understand this this word. Goods. Yes. Okay, yes, good. Good is bien. Bueno, bueno. Yes. Okay. If bien. you exactly are all the things that belong to you. Example, <laughs> sorry. Goods is um your house your car, your money, everything that belongs to you, those are goods. So the translation, bienes. exactly, los bienes. Mm -hmm. In the company, if we are talking about companies, we can say, ah, the company exports a lot of goods. So that means products, okay, in that case, no sería bienes, it will be like products, como mercancía, productos, okay? So, depending on the context, the translation can change. Okay, let's move on to the next one. We, mm -hmm. we lack enough information like, on like the competition. Uh -huh. We lack enough information on the competition, right? So this is um, some of the answers for these exercises. I know that on the platform, we got some issues with that. But as I said, every time that you got a written practice on the platform, and if you got mistakes, sometimes is because of the platform. So don't be afraid to take a screenshot and send it and ask, okay? So the most important thing here is just remember, if you have a noun, the word enough goes first. Do you have any questions so far, everybody? Uh -huh. Any questions? No? Just, uh, what's the meaning of lack? 
lack. lack. Okay, if you are using lack has a characteristic that can be a noun or it can be a verb. In this sentence is a verb. So that means like carecer, when you don't have something. That is the meaning of lack as a verb. If it is as a noun, the meaning it changed a little bit, like como carencia, deficiencia. That is, is it is a noun, okay? Okay, thanks. Okay, you're welcome. So everybody, I don't know if you have any other question about the vocabulary or about the structure. No? Okay, so let's move on. If you don't have questions about the exercise, let's do another practice. I'm going to share with you some sentences. Read the sentences and tell me what will be the correct answer, but be careful. Some of the sentences will be with nouns. Some of the sentences will be with adjectives, okay? Let's see, for example, look at the number one. Susana doesn't like uh, this tea. It's not, so what do you think? Hot enough or enough hot? What do you the think? The second one, teacher, hot enough. Hot enough. Hot enough. Hot enough. It's hot enough. The first. <laughs> okay, the yes, first or the, the first. second? Hot the first. enough? For me, first. My opinion is the first, too. Exactly. Why? Because mm -hmm. it's an uh, adjective. It's a That's correct. Very good job. Now, I will be asking one by one. So let's see. The next sentence is for ta -ta 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 -ta, Hector. Hello, Hector. Teacher, hello. Okay, Hector, look at this sentence and tell me what will be the correct sentence. Okay, wait, wait. Um, oh no, I can't buy a movie ticket. I don't have enough money. Enough money? Are you sure? Mm -hmm. I think you're sure. <laughs> Actually, yes, that's correct. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Very <laughs> good. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you feel identified? <laughs> okay, okay. Completely. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Okay, the next one is for Christian. Okay, Christian, what will be the answer here? Okay. Do you and uh, your classmate have? Mm, enough. Mm. Uh -huh. enough time to finish your homework enough time are you sure yes yes very good very good okay next one Carlos. Aha, Carlos, what will be the answer in the number four? Okay, my, my little brother is and go all to the learning how to speak. Okay, old enough or enough old? I couldn't listen to you very well. Enough old. Enough old. Are you sure? Yeah. Mm. Okay, remember the word old, is that a noun or is that an adjective? It's an adjective. It's an adjective. adjective, exactly. So remember, when you got the adjective, the adjective goes first and then the word enough, okay? Very good. Let's see, the next one goes to, to, to turn. Okay, Jamie, tell me the answer for the next one, please. Do you think she is fast enough to win the race? Okay, fast enough. Are you sure? Uh, yes. 
Yes. <laughs> yes, very good. Don't doubt. You have to sound confident. Very good, very good. Okay, the next one goes to Erika. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's stay home today. It's not enough warm to go outside. Enough no, warm. warm enough. Warm <laughs> okay. enough. I'm sorry. Warm enough. Are you sure? Yes. That's correct. <laughs> very good. Very good. Okay, the next one goes to Fatima. Okay, Fatima. Okay, Jack and I had to stand up. There were not um, enough shares for everyone. Are you sure? Sure. Definitely. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Okay, I'm going to ask to, 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 to Isabel. Go ahead. Isabel, are you there? Okay, I think he's not there. Okay, uh, Magdaleno, go ahead, the next one. In my opinion, there is enough rest. Do you usually get enough rest on the weekends? Okay. And that's correct. Very good job, very good job. All right, the next one, Mirna, go ahead. Sam told me a joke, but it wasn't funny enough to make me laugh. Funny enough, are you sure? Yes, I think. <laughs> yes. Be careful, you can, you have to sound confident, everyone. Remember that when I say, are you sure? I mean, I don't want you to hesitate. I just want to be sure that you are totally confident about your answer, okay? That's what I want. Okay, the next one goes to Nelson. Okay, Nelson, can you read the next one? Okay, I don't like airplanes. They're not enough safe to get on. To get on. Enough safe. Are you sure? Yes. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> safe. What is the meaning of safe? Is that a noun or an adjective? I. I in this case, it's an, it's adjective. an adjective. For example, I can say El Salvador. <laughs> what do you think? El Salvador is safe enough? Yes or no? Yes, it is. No. <laughs> <laughs> some of you say no, some of you say yes. Well, well depending on the city you live, right? <laughs> but if you see safe is an adjective is not a noun, okay? So be careful. All right, the next one goes to Pamela. Go ahead, Pamela. And um, please remember to drink enough water. It's very hot today. Enough water, are you sure? Yes. Totally, very good. Okay, guys, let me ask you. Have you drunk enough water today? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. <laughs> ah, okay, very good, very good. Okay, the next one. Um, Rosalina, go ahead. Uh, do you and... Do you and Alice have enough coins for the bus? Enough coins, are yeah. you sure? I think. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yes, home you are right. Don't be afraid. The topic is hard for me. All right. You know what you have to do, and this helped me a lot. I recommend you, everyone, to take um, like a postic, like like this, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. And you can write. For example, you can write adjective plus enough or um, enough plus noun. Okay. And that is like the formula, all right? So mm -hmm. take a post-it or in your notebooks, right? Mm -hmm. And write it, just adjective plus enough, all right? So then when you get confused and I'm not sure, ah, okay, you read the post -it. The opposite first um, is noun or it, uh, I'm sorry, is, is, is the opposite, I'm sorry. Solo escriban la fórmula, right? Adjective plus enough, and then you can write enough plus the noun. Esa es como la fórmula. So write uh -huh. it in un post-it, and then you can see it. And with the time, you will be able to memorize it. Okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, the next one is, well, I think I already asked to everybody because the rest of the people is listener. I need a volunteer for reading the next one. Who wants to try? I want. Yes, please. I have to go back to the store. I didn't buy uh, enough bread. Enough bread, are you sure? Yes, I am. Totally correct. Very good job. Okay, another volunteer, please. Can I? Yes, please. I need more sugar. The coffee isn't sweet enough. Sweet enough. Very good job. Very good job. Okay, the last one. Volunteer, please. Teacher? Yes. Let's continue to clean the house. It's not clean enough. Clean enough. Very good job. Very good job. So everybody, if you see, just remember the formula, All right? You just have to identify if it is a noun or if it is an adjective. All right, is it clear? Any questions so far? Teacher. Yes. Sometimes the verbs uh, transform in additive in this case, because when I, I talk uh, about the people is fast, the fast is additive because mm -hmm. describe the, the, these people as in a, a no fast. Mm -hmm. The verb, the verb well. trans, uh, transform additive in, the, in, in this case, I think. Well, what happens is everybody remember that in English, we can have different words that depending on the context, they can have like a different meaning. In the previous sentence, for example, clean, the, the sentence that he answered, right? If you use cleaned, so clean can be a verb, but also it can be an adjective. So depending on the function that this has, well, the position in the sentence will be different. This is out of the topic, but what happens if I don't have a noun, I don't have an adjective, but I have a verb? What will be the position if I have a verb? That is totally different. Okay, I don't want you to get confused, but if you have a verb in the sentence, the verb goes at the end, okay? I mean, first is the verb and then enough. I'm going to give you an example. And again, this is not part of the topic, but it just in the case that you wanted to know this, look. For example, I can say, I, mm, for example, I drank a, a lot, right? 
I want to say I drank enough. So here I have a verb. The verb goes first and then the word enough. Okay, this is when we have a verb. Let's go back. Ah, I drank enough water. This is when we have a noun. Okay, when we have an adjective. Um, I drank, let's see. Um, clean, um, no, the sentence must be different. The water was clean enough. And here is when we have an adjective. So look at the position of the word enough. Okay, look. When we have a verb, the verb goes first. When we have a noun, the noun goes after. When we have an adjective, the adjective goes first. This is like the formula. Is it clear, everyone? Yes, teacher. It is. Thank teacher, you. It is clear. I have a question with that. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. If we uh, if, if we have uh, add the the letter L E is correct enoughly sufficientemente. It's oh, correct say that. All right. If we have, for example, the word with L Y, in that case we are not talking about adjectives. In that case, we are talking about adverbs. What happens when we have adverbs that's like another topic i don't want you to get confused but with the adverbs let me think about a sentence mm. du, 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 du. Enough <laughs> clean, maybe yeah right let me write it du, 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 du. But mm, I want to write one with Lee. Nothing comes to my mind. But anyways, if you have an adverb, the formula is the same. First is the adverb, and then is the word enough. Okay? I'm sorry, teacher. Are, are you sharing something? Because I don't can see can you Can you see what I'm sharing? No? No. No. Oh, okay. Let me try to share it again. I'm sorry. How about now? Can you see it now? Yes, yes. Okay. So when you have an adverb, it's the same structure. First is the adverb, and then is the word enough. Okay. For example, if you have a word that is ending in li, so you say enough. So that is like the formula. Depending everyone, remember, you just need to identify what is the function of the word, okay? I don't want you to get confused. I don't want you to complicate too much. In this moment, I don't want, I just want you to memorize these ones. When we got a noun and when we got an adjective, okay? That's it. Something important, if you have an adjective or an adverb, look, the structure is the same. The only one that changes is when we got a noun, okay? I don't know if it is clear or is still a question, everyone? It's clear. Yes. Ready for an exam? Everyone? Yes. Okay, let's do an exam. Because you don't have questions, we are going to complete an exam. I got here different questions. I'm going to send a link, okay? And you have to complete the sentences. Look at here. Um, this is the link. The first part, we already did it. It's optional. If you want to do it, do it. it. If not, don't do it. What I want to see is the sentences. 
For example, look at the number one. The word in parentheses is money. Money is an adjective or is that a noun? It's a noun. noun. It's a mm -hmm. noun. Okay, so what will be the sentence here? I don't have a money noun. enough money. or enough money. Enough money. Okay, no. so you have to write enough and then the money. word oops. Money. Money. Money, money. money. Okay. In the number two, I got the word old. What is old? It's an it's adjective. So what will be the sentence? Old and out. All right. So you have to write old enough. So I want you to complete the sentences. We got like 15 sentences. It's not so long. And when you finish, you just have to click in finish. And then you have to click here in check my answers. And you will see if your sentences are correct or not. Remember that this is a writing practice. So one letter is wrong, the answer will be wrong. So for example, if instead of enough, you just write enough with the letter Without the letter H, that will be a mistake, okay? So be careful with the spelling. I'm going to send the link, everyone. I'm going to send it on WhatsApp's group. Let's see, let's see. And I'm going to send it here in the chat too. Okay, I already sent it. Go ahead, everyone. Open it. Go ahead. Complete the exercise. When you finish, I want to see the screenshot. So I want to see your result. Okay, please. You can complete the first part so you can get a better score. Go ahead, complete the sentences. For this activity, you will have 10 minutes. And don't forget to take a screenshot and send it in the chat. Open up the link and complete the exercise. If you have a question, everybody, if there is a word that maybe you don't understand, just let me know and I will help you.
If you have a question, just let me know, please. Don't forget to send the screenshot. You can send it on WhatsApp group. I want to see your results, okay? Let's imagine that this is an exam. So I want to see if you truly understood the topic. If you have a question, just let me know, please. I can see some of your classmates already finished. Very good job. Do you have five minutes? So don't worry, you still have time. Just remember, be careful with the spelling. One letter is wrong, everything will be wrong. So be careful with the spelling.
If you have a question, just let me know, please. I can see some people already finished and I can see very good results. I like it. Just be careful with the spelling, please. Remember, one letter is wrong, everything will be wrong. Teacher, how do you pronounce the, the word in the number 12? It's break or it's bright? Bright. Bright. Bright, yes. If you have questions, everybody, let me know, please. You have three more minutes. For the ones who hasn't sent the screenshots, three more minutes. I can see seven people already finished. Very good job. For the one who hasn't finished, go ahead. Don't forget to send a screenshot. All right, for the ones who already finished, how did you feel the exercise? Was it easy or difficult? Uh huh. Easy. <laughs> ah. So if these were your exam, you would get very good scores. I can see very nice scores. Very good job. Now, important, and this is an observation that you have to keep in mind. I can see some of the exercises, some of the common mistakes are basically the spelling, okay? One letter is wrong, the exercise will be wrong. And that is sometimes what happens on the platform. Okay, for example, imagine that instead of eggs, um, I write like this, um, egg, only one uh, without the letter S. If I forgot the letter S, the exercise will be incorrect. Or imagine that I just write one G and then the letter S, no, that's a mistake, okay? So be careful. I can see some people got a mistake with the word well. 
So, well, is that an adjective or is that a noun? Uh huh. It's an adjective. It's an adjective. So, what is the correct answer here? I don't feel. Uh huh. Well, well enough, enough or ah well enough that's correct enough. Mm -hmm. so uh, in that sentence some of you got mistakes in the number 10 the same sweet sweet is an adjective or is that a verb uh, a noun an adjective correct so the the sentence will be is your tea Uh -huh. Sweet enough. Sweet enough. Sweet enough. Correct. So remember, sweet is an adjective. Well is an adjective. So be careful with those words. I think that in that sentence, eh, some of you got mistakes. If you haven't finished, everyone, complete the exercise. And if you got issues, uh, you can repeat the exercise. Um, if you didn't got a good score, well, you can still do the exercise at the end of the class or tomorrow when you got more time. This is not an evaluation. This is just an exercise, just to see if you understood the topic. Do you have any questions so far, everybody? Questions? No. Are you sure? Okay. If you don't have a question, it's time to talk. Okay? Speaking practice, we are going to do a role play. Okay? Can you see the presentation? Yes. Okay. Yes. We are going to do role plays, everyone. I want you to create a conversation according to their scenarios and you want to I, I want you to use enough you can use enough with nouns and also with adjectives look at the first scenario you will be working in pairs okay so in the first scenario student a for example imagine that it is magdaleno for example so magdaleno will be student eight and your classmates, for example, Erica. Erica will be the student B. So what is the scenario? Ah, for example, Magdaleno, imagine that you work in a company, but the company where you work, they don't have enough products, okay? So you cannot do your job because you don't have uh, the tools that you need. So you need to talk to your boss. You need to explain him that you need more tools. And a student B, that it will be Erica, for example. Erica, you have to imagine that you are the boss. So how will you resolve the problem you have to explain to magdaleno that maybe he doesn't have um, enough tools because the company is facing declining or saturation and you have to explain him how you will resolve the problem okay you have to invent the conversation. So, for example, Magdaleno can say hello or good morning, uh, Miss. Uh, I don't know. You can say the name, Miss Martinez, for example. You know, I, I need to talk to you. May I talk to you? And Erica will say, Yes, of course. Tell me what happened. And Magdaleno explained the problem. You know, I'm trying to do my job. However, I feel that I don't have uh, enough tools. Um, I think that my tools are uh, not enough or I don't know, you can invent the conversation. And Erica will say, yes, I totally understand. You know, the company is facing very difficult moments and blah, 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 blah. So at the end, the idea is that you got a conversation and you have to try to use the word enough. 
Is it clear the role play, everyone? Yes. Sorry, yes. Miss. We need to write a conversation. No. Or not? No, no, just. No, no, no. Okay. In this moment, everyone is just a role play. The idea is just to talk. That's it. Remember, uh, also, everybody, if your classmate doesn't use the word enough correctly, you can tell them. Okay. You have to pretend that this is a real conversation, that this is something that is really happening. Now, scenario number two. Imagine that in this scenario number two, I have, for example, Mirna, and the other student uh, will be Hector, for example. So Mirna, you have to invent. Let's pretend that you are a wife and that you want to buy many things for the house. <laughs> Right, but your husband, that in this case, imagine Hector is the husband. Imagine that you say, No, we don't have money. You have to explain her that it's not necessary. Okay, so that is the scenario. In both the scenarios, I want you to use the word enough. So, se entiende everybody, como van a ser los role plays? Yes. Yes, teacher. Everybody, yes, teacher. do you have any question? No? Okay, I'm going to send scenarios on WhatsApp's group, all right? Remember, the idea is I want you to invent. Let's pretend that this is a real scenario. Let's pretend that this is a real conversation that you will have. So this is the moment to put all your English, all right? I'm sending the scenarios on WhatsApp's group. Teacher. Yes. We, um, can we choose between both the scenarios? I'm sorry? Scenarios? And, and can I choose between both the scenario, scenarios? Of course. Or you are assigned? No, I mean, you can choose. For example, if you are working with uh, Hector, for example, you can decide, okay, Hector, I will be a student B, you will be a student A, okay? So you can change the, uh, the role play, you can pick the uh, character that you prefer, okay? No problem. Okay. So, very good. Okay, everybody, I'm going to create the groups. Give me one second. Okay, okay, let me see. Okay, one moment, one moment. Okay, I got the group. So everybody, let's go and practice zero Spanish and remember to use the word enough. Let's go. Hi. Hi, Mirna, you are like listener. Listener? No, oh, no, 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 I'm here. <laughs> no, I'm not listener today. I haven't seen you. Yeah. How are you? I'm fine. All is, all is good. Okay. We have to choose a, a, a rope. Uh, which which role do you prefer? Hello there. Hello. Okay, here hey, we go. I joined Fatima to this team because the other person wasn't here. So you can work together, okay? It's okay. Okay, Fatima. Hello, good evening. Hello, 
Okay. Where, what role do you prefer? Do you prefer? The green little letter A or B. Okay, it is that. It is okay. Uh, and what is scenario? Do you want? Do you prefer? Uh, do you rather? I what did I use to rate Do you rate it? I don't remember. <laughs> what do you prefer? The scenario of the, the company or for the house? For the, the house. wife? The house. Okay. Do you do you want to be the wife? who want to buy many stuff? Or do you want to be the wife who want to save money? Who do you, uh, who do you be, who do you prefer? Um, the men stuff. Hmm? Many stuff. The many, many stuff. Okay, do you have to buy? It's okay. Tell me, what do you want to buy? Remember to start the conversation like, hello, uh, I want to talk to you. You know, I want to, and ta da 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 da. Okay, imagine that this is a real conversation. ¿Cómo comenzamos cada conversación? Hello. Okay, Fatima, right? you are my wife. It's okay. <laughs> okay. You are my wife right now. So, and I don't give you money. <laughs> exactly. So, Fatima, you have to convince him to buy many things for the house. Okay? okay. Action. And I don't have money. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Magdalene. I need to buy uh, many stuff like... Uh, carrots and sugar and coffee we don't have uh, have in this house is these things it's necessary okay. do for eat food? yes we don't have food at home no no have <laughs> i don't chicken Fatima, what, past what week, uh, uh, yesterday <laughs> we we do the the supermarket. Yesterday we buy it at the supermarket <laughs> for food. What more? What else you, do you need? We don't have enough money to buy every day. The children eat eat a lot of. <laughs> no. <laughs> We have children. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> how much children we have? I don't remember that. How, how many? How many children? How, how many children <laughs> we have, Fatima? I um, remember the <laughs> two, two children. <laughs> wow, it's too they much. eat enough. Is, is correct? It's enough? They eat a lot. In this case, because you are trying to use the word enough, it's good. You can use it. Okay. <laughs> what we can do for uh, waste is correct. Or spend. Spend or waste? Spend. Gastar. Spend. What happens is How? that waste is for a negative, like malgastar. Uh, that would be waste. Okay. How we can do for <clears throat> for spend less money? We don't have enough. You know, I don't earn enough money monthly. You understand <laughs> that, right? right? We have to pay gas. We have to pay bills. Please try to understand me. To to finish the the projects. 
Okay. Uh, a question, Pamela. Yes. Uh, I I I won't say I proud proud of my equipment. Uh, work teamwork. Uh, how is is a a noun or is a I, I proud. Uh, orgulloso. I don't know who say proud. Proud. Uh, proud. Proud is is an adjective or is a noun. Proud. I think it's. It's an, an adjective. adjective. Yes. It's an it's adjective. adjective. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. 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 And turns and <laughs> sorry. My 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 Spanish is very very strong. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> uh, I am. I am. I am. Uh, proud and out uh, for uh, of my of my teamwork, and I and I wait. Oh, must I? Hope. I uh -huh, hope. Hope for for save the situation. The, the situation. Our company. Well, I've left. We need to modify. We need to modify. 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 We need to modify the quantity, the product that we are producing. Okay, this is the 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 problem that we have. And other solution, maybe I think that we will we will talk with the purchase department. Because maybe they have a a, a issue in 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 when the the product uh, came and their transportation or maybe they can they can they can find another company for for improve our transportation or distribution story. Can I can uh, I talk with them? Yes, we have a, we have a problem with the this transportation maybe that could be a case that could be um, for example if we have no enough uh, trucks to carry the product in to the retail store Yes, we don't have enough uh, enough uh, container for transportation, but maybe we we will talk with the push archer department and they can they can find another company or another uh, yes. contract for other people. Yes, yes. It's a, it's, it's, it's a good idea that you are saying because we can um, hire contra that hire yes hire mm -hmm. a a company a transportation company uh, for get the service that's just uh, the only activity to transport the product uh, or to all the place that we can breathe breathe Staff. Oh. <laughs> I get nervous. <laughs> we don't have enough staff personal. Yes. Hey, hey. Mm -hmm. you can have a... Right. Okay. Uh, okay, Erika, do you have any idea? How we can I do for to get more personal or enough personal? We can hire more personnel to work in here in the store. If it is okay. possible to hire more personnel. And I don't I I'm not be sure because uh, we don't have enough money. No budget. 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 Mm -hmm. okay. budget. Because we don't have enough budget 
for for more personal to hire to hire to hire, hire more, more personal exactly yes okay what okay. do you think about if um could be an um what can we do hmm if we don't have enough budget to hire more personnel or staff. What would it be? Hmm. How can you resolve in it? Uh, maybe if if we can talk to with our supplier. Oh if they can we can hire. <laughs> okay, container. Okay, <laughs> I don't know if if no. if is is correct say truck or container. I don't know, teacher. Is the 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 right word is truck or maybe container in okay. a distribution. Okay, it's depending. Uh, what are you trying to say? Because if you say truck you are talking about el camión completo, right? If you say mm -hmm. the container, you are talking about just just the box. Container. Uh-huh. Oh, okay, so, I'm, I'm confused. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. The truck is the correct uh, word that say when you, okay. when you distribution uh, a lot of products. <laughs> so for example, so, for let, me, let me share the picture, look. This is a container. It's just the box. Oh, yes. Right. Yes, it's a container. Yes, but if in you... in factory is common use container. Ah, but if you are talking about the full truck, is this? Oh, the full truck. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. Okay. The container maybe you can transport it by 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 boat or yes by by boat or. Or in a I truck? Believe that, I believe that it could be in a truck because um, a container okay. is bigger. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah, I am clear. Very. Yeah. Hmm? Do you uh -huh. want to buy a mirror? <laughs> uh -huh. I see a mirror. Huh? Okay. Okay, everyone. So tell me what happens, Fatima. Could you convince him to buy my stuff? Yes, but but he oh. he put a limit. <laughs> <laughs> I am a niece target. Ah, but she convinced you. Nice. Yes. I like that. I am easy. I am easy with women. I am so easy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry for you. Well, uh, we don't have more time. We need to go back to the main room, okay? Okay. 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 Okay, time's up. We are going to wait for the rest of your classmates. Let's go back, everyone. Time's up, time's up. Let's go back. All right, let's see. Let's wait for the for everyone. Time's up, time's up. Let's go back to the main room. Very interesting conversations that I was listening to. All right, let's see. Okay. Okay, everyone, time's up. Let's go back. How did you feel the practice? Was it easy or difficult to do the role play? Uh-huh. Was difficult. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Why do you have enough time? 
<laughs> I know, very talkative. Oh my gosh. So imagine we were in the uh, breaking rooms. Let's see, like, um, let's see, like 15 minutes or 20 minutes. And you were talking a lot, everyone. I liked it. Very good. All right. So, did your classmate speak in Spanish? Yes or no? <laughs> uh huh. No. no, right? Never. No. Of course. No. No. Okay, okay. Did your classmate uh, use the word enough? Yes. Good. Yes, of course. <laughs> ah, that's the attitude. That's the attitude. Okay. Um, did you feel that it was difficult to create a conversation or it was like very natural? What do you think? Me, teacher, the problem is the vocabulary. We don't have enough vocabulary. <laughs> ah, okay. It's difficult to use the adjective and noun combined with the paragraph. Ah, very good point. Uh huh. How about you, everyone? What do you think? I think it's I necessary. Think... Uh, I'll... Oh, sorry, sorry. Go ahead. Okay. Thank you, Hector. I, I think first was a little difficult, but then it becomes easy no, or okay. more fluid or more fluid. <laughs> ah, so to start, the conversation was a little bit complicated, but then it's very fluently. Okay, Hector, what were you saying? I think it identified um, in the fluid conversation uh, when is a uh, adjective and when is a uh, uh, noun? Uh, it, in 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 some in some cases, in some case, some cases, uh, stop the conversation because because it's necessary. In my case, it's necessary. Think if the 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 conversation is is about is a noun or is an adjective. Mm -hmm. But when when I have a uh, Practice, I think, is natural, fluid, the conversation. But it's practice, 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 I think. Exactly. So that happens, OK? Sometimes, as your classmate says, sometimes we don't have any, uh, the words, right? We are like, uh, how can I say this? Or I forgot the word. And that stopped the conversation or sometimes we are hesitating if it is an adjective or if it is a noun we don't know exactly if we need to say enough first or at the end so we hesitate and we need to think but as your classmate said this is just with the practice okay something really good is that the conversation sounded very natural i mean you were talking and talking that's something that i really liked so, uh, Magdalena, go ahead, tell me. Teacher, I had troubles with the phrase. I have that with that. Um, when I want to say, uh, que fecha soy, uh, it sounds like a date for a cita with other people. What do you do this question? What date is to date is right? Yeah. And when you are dating, with someone mm -hmm. is same. This is yeah. my question. Okay. If you want to ask, for example, ¿Qué día soy? You can say, uh, what is today? What day is today? Exactly as you said it. If you want to say, ¿Qué fecha? Because that's different. ¿Qué día? Or ¿Qué fecha? If you want to ask, ¿Qué fecha es hoy? You can say, what date? is today or what is today's date okay that sounds much better because it has like the apostrophe i'm sending in the chat what is today's date that is la fecha okay uh, what is the other question cuando estás saliendo con alguien that's what you mean yes is, yes is that 
Okay, but what is exactly the question that you want to ask in that scenario? Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, ¿con quién saliste hoy? Oh, okay. In that case, you can ask who. Who did you date with? I'm sending it in the chat too. Teacher, it could be who you were with. Also, yes. In this case, I'm using the word date uh, because that is the, the word that your classmates is asking. But yeah, you can use the verb to be too or you can use the verb go. Who did you wear with? I mean, who did you go with or with the verb to be? Who were you with? So that is depend on the verb, okay? I don't know if it is clear. What happens, and this is what I was saying at the beginning of the class. In English, sometimes one word can have different meaning. For example, the word date. Date can be a noun, fecha, but also date can be a verb, right? El verbo salir con alguien. So it depends on the function, but you can use it in different ways. So I don't know, Magdaleno, if I answered your question. Yes, thank you. Okay, very good. Now, um, let's talk about some little details about uh, the conversation. Actually, it was I was listening and it was very good, everyone. I love it. Look at these words. For example, I heard some people saying, yesterday we do. Is that correct? If I'm talking no. about yesterday, can I say we do? In the past, no, it is in past. So what will be the dead. correct one? Ah, did. yesterday we did. So if it is in past, the verb is in past. Now, how much children? Is that correct? It's many. Ah, very how good. Many? How many children? Um, I am enough proud. Is that correct? Proud no, enough. that's an adjective, proud enough. Ah, look, the <clears throat> sentence, it wasn't a good idea, but remember, proud is an adjective. So first is proud and then the word enough. I am proud enough. Little details, but with the practice, we are going to be improving this topic. Any questions so far, everyone? Questions? No? No one. Okay, now let's continue. We have another practice to do, but before that, I'm going to check attendance one more time. So everybody, when you listen to your names, say present. Carlos Abrego? Very good. Christian Alexander? Okay. Erika Jasmine? Present. Very good. Um, Fatima Denise. Present teacher. Very good. Gabriel Beltran. Very good. Um, Hector Francisco. Present teacher. Very good. Isabel Hernandez. Isabel Hernandez. Okay. Ivan Guzman. Okay, Jamie Raquel. Present teacher. Very good. Holman Giron. Okay. Uh, Lucy Natalie. Okay. Uh, Magdalena Escalante. Present. Present teacher. Okay, Magdaleno, and okay, now, uh, Lucy, I already got it. Very good. Um, Nelson Antonio? Present. Very good. Oscar Armando? Okay, very good. Um, Pamela Carolina? Present teacher. Very good. Rosalina Alvarado? Present, Miss. Excellent. Selvin Adonai? 
Selvin Adonai. Okay, and Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Excellent, very good. Okay, let's continue everyone. If you remember uh, yesterday, uh, you invented a new product. So we were talking about inventions. Do you remember that? Yes. And yeah. we learned uh, some adjectives that we can use to describe technology inventions. Can you tell me some of the adjectives that we studied yesterday? Powerful. Useful. Uh -huh, uh -huh. What else? Convenient. Ah, uh, very good. What else? Wordless. Which one? Wordless. Okay. What else? Useless. Uh -huh. Useless. Yeah. Andy. Okay. Obsolete too. Uh -huh. Very good. So we were talking about those adjectives. Remember everyone, try to memorize them. So if I'm talking about uh, video games, what do you think about video games? Describe them using the adjectives. Do you think that video games are indispensable or are they worthless? What do you think? Video games. Funny. <laughs> uh -huh. Are you useless? Useless. <laughs> useless. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do no, you agree? it's indispensable. It's indispensable. <laughs> it depends the context, <laughs> the people, <laughs> because if you are if, if you are a gamer, <laughs> it's uh, indispensable. <laughs> that's right. So that is going to depend on the person. Some of you can think, no, nah, it's totally indispensable. Some of you are like, no, nah, they are useless. So the most important thing is to use the adjectives. Now we are going to continue practicing inventions, talking about that topic, but now we are going to have a listening practice, okay? We already practice grammar, we already practice speaking. So let's practice a little bit listening. So we are going to listen to some conversations. They are talking about some inventions. Okay, so pay attention and you have to tell me what is the function for each invention. Okay, for example, in the number one, we have two options. Um, this object is used to block the sun or to block the insects. According to the audio, you have to choose the correct option. Okay, the number two, I have another option. It's this object is that for eating or to cook a spaghetti? I don't know. So you have to pay attention and choose the correct answer. So everybody, microphones off to avoid interferences, please. Everybody mutes the microphones. I'm going to play the audio. If you don't listen to the audio, please let me know. Here we go. One. Good afternoon. May I help you? Yes, I'm going camping and I need something to keep the insects away. How about these? They're new. They're insect guards. Really? I've never seen anything like them before. You can use them to keep insects off you. Flies, mosquitoes, any insect. These will keep insects off me? How? They cover you. You know, like a net. They're very light and easy to use. You put one on each hand, each foot, and over your head. The insects can't bite you. Right. Actually, I think I just want some bug spray. Two. What's this? It's an electric spaghetti fork. An electric spaghetti fork? Yes. You use it to eat spaghetti. You just put it in the spaghetti, then you turn it on. See how the fork moves in a circle? 
it pulls the spaghetti around the fork. Does this really help you eat spaghetti? Yes, it does. And it's fun. You should buy one. Well, thanks anyway, but I don't think I need any help eating spaghetti. Three. Okay, you've got cat food and a brush. Anything else for your cat? I don't think so. Have you seen our new cat mop? Uh, no. Oh, it's the cutest thing. You can use it to have your cat clean the floor. I don't think my cat wants to clean the floor. Oh, he has no choice. You put these shoes on the cat. On the bottom of each one, there's a little mop. As the cat runs, he cleans the floor. Well, I could use some help. Why not? Four. Look at what I bought. It looks like a child's swing. What's it for? You know how crowded the train is in the morning? Sure. Well, you use this to sit on the train. Use it to sit on the train? How? When you can't find a seat, you just hang it on those luggage bars above the seats. It's made of cloth, so it's easy to carry. I don't get it. When there are no seats on the train, you can sit on this. Put the hooks over the luggage bars. It makes a little seat. Ah, I get it. Hey, that sounds great. Where did you buy it? Five. Do you want to see something? Sure. What? Look at this. What is it? It's an electric letter opener. I can use it to open letters. What? An electric letter opener. Watch. It only takes two seconds. Well, how long does it take you with a knife? <laughs> yeah, but this is electric. Hmm. I think I'll keep using a regular knife. Six. Excuse me, do you have umbrellas? It's started to rain, hasn't it? Yes, it's really pouring out there. How about this model? It's not just an umbrella. It also holds your camera, so you can take pictures. Holds my camera? Yes. You open the umbrella and put it on the ground. It has a special place that holds your camera, you know, so you can take your own picture or be in pictures with friends. Wow. That's cool. I take lots of pictures. What a great idea. Okay, everybody. Did you understand the audio? Yes. <laughs> yeah. oh. Yes. Did you get the answers? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay, the number one. People use these to block what? The sun or the insects? The insects. Insect. Will you buy this product? <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> no, nobody. If I got the mom time, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> what happens is that imagine you will be covered with all those nets, right? That's a little bit weird. Okay, how about you the number? Uh -huh. You can't eat. <laughs> Definitely. So you can sure. you can use it if you want to keep fit. <laughs> yes. B is a uh, for for honey for for get the honey. That could be useful. Colony. I don't know who say uh, eh, la colmena. I don't know who say. For the bees uh, colony. Yeah, uh -huh. you can. If you are a, a honey collector, honey that will collector. be, uh -huh, will be uh -huh. useful. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's necessary. It's very important. Definitely. For, for, for this, in this case. Mm -hmm. But imagine if you are just going to the mountain. I think that is not so necessary, know, no. right? It's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. <laughs> How about how about the number two? What is the function of this knife? Um, what do you think? Is is to eat or to cook? 
electric spaghetti fork. Hey, imagine. I mean, I don't know, but how about you? Would you buy it? No, if you are a I think those products, <laughs> I think the, those products are like that are, are new. You want to buy it, but it's not necessary. But because it's new, you have to buy it. <laughs> China. I, mean, I think if you find this fork in Dollar City, <laughs> you will yeah. buy it, right? <laughs> exactly. Of course. <laughs> so very, it, it's very interesting, actually. So look at the number three. What is a function? Clean the floor or exercise? Clean the floor. For clean the floor. Clean the floor. Clean the floor. <laughs> For the ones who has pet, would you buy it? Yes. No. I, would. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I don't think it work. <laughs> I mean, I don't have. I don't have uh, that pet. hurt. <laughs> yeah. I mean, my cat is sleeping all the time, so it wouldn't <laughs> work anyway. <laughs> okay. It's useless for you. Definitely. <laughs> okay, number four. What is the function? Sit on the train. Ah, this was interesting. Will you buy it, everyone? Maybe for good to work. <laughs> imagine you imagine when the bus is very crowded no more seats no more room to sit so what would you do you can sit on it so do you think that is useful or mm, useless what do you think it's useless it's useful it's useful, useful especially useless. especially when you had a, a very hard day at work Definitely, right? So imagine no more seats. You will have your own seat on the bus. Nice. Okay, next one. What is the function for this object? Seal or open letters? Open letters. Open letters. letters. Will you buy it? No. <laughs> no. We, we don't if even. My job we... is. <laughs> Open letter, yes. <laughs> That's true. It's but it's imagine practical. it's practical. But imagine in this case, we don't even read letters in this way anymore. We just read emails, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in this case, we can say what um adjective can we use to describe this object? It's obsolete because we don't have letters. Correct. Very good. Okay, the last one. People use this to cover or to hold their cameras. Hold their cameras. Camera. To hold their cameras. So, will you buy it? Yes or no? Yes. I don't. I don't have camera. <laughs> <laughs> but but imagine uh, we can use the cell phone maybe so if you can hold your cell phone there would you buy it or not maybe maybe <laughs> maybe maybe <laughs> depends how much is it <laughs> all right so imagine in this case we are just talking about inventions we can even create a marketing plan for this object so imagine the electronic fork can you tell me uh, what could be imagine electric fork is the name then the, le the next letter P is the price. How much do you think it will be a nice price for this fork? How much? $15. Which $15. one? $15. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, $15. Then the placement. Where can we sell this product? In Dollar City. <laughs> Definitely, that would be a great idea. But if you want to sell it in Dollar City, it must be cheaper, right? Because they sell just cheaper things. And the last one, what will be um, the promotion? What kind of publicity can you use? Mm -hmm. 
social you networks, for example. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. yes. <laughs> uh -huh. For lazy people, you can buy it. <laughs> <laughs> so, imagine. You have, uh huh. You have, if you if you want to sell it, you need to uh, make a publicity like TV office. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. Very good. <laughs> so you see, everyone, you are creating very fast a marketing plan, and that's the purpose for that unit. Okay. Now, unfortunately, we don't have more time. Continue reviewing the topics. And remember, today we finished the unit number two. That means that you have to finish that unit. And also for the ones who hasn't taken the exam, do it. You have to finish the exam before Friday. Okay. If you have questions, okay. just take the screenshot and send it to me. Before leaving, only, well, the winner for today is Nelson. Nelson? You had to stay, the rest of you, you can go to sleep, have a beautiful night, and see you tomorrow. Thank you, Missy. Thank, Thank you, everyone. Welcome, Thank you. see Thank you. you. Good, good, night. Good, good, night. good night, good night. Thank you, you too, bye. Only Nelson stays. Good night, everyone. Good night, good night. Okay, hello, Nelson, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. How was your day? Mm, it was a little difficult because uh, sometimes I I have to work a lot of, yeah, I... sometimes it's, it's a little difficult, but no, not every day. Ah, okay. Yes. What, what time do you wake up every day? Sorry? What time do you wake up every day? Uh, let me think. Uh, I wake up at 40, 4 45. Yeah. Oh, very early, right? Yes, this is every day because I I work from from Monday to Saturday. Oh my god. So Sunday is your only day off? Yes, only Sunday. Oh and and, we, and when we have holy holiday or holy week uh huh wow yes. it's very but, typical right yes but but the rest of, of the year every day every day oh my goodness all right the, the almost time we have a season height yeah well yes. I know. So I, I appreciate the time that you have in the class because you are always on time. So excellent. You are doing a great job. So uh, we're going to take these few minutes just to clarify some questions that you may have. Could be about the class, about the topics or about the platform. So is there any question or any topic that you need to ask or questions that you may have? No, uh, yes, I, I have, I can say a lot of problems with the, the previous topic. This mm -hmm. is about, about nouns and about adjectives. For me, it's a, it's a little, a little difficult to identify uh, when we use uh, or sell it when it's nouns or when it's an adjective. This is a problem. But I think I, I just want to need a practice or, or a study when I have a, a free time. I don't know. And just, I, just I, need, I need time to mm -hmm. study or to check. Yes, and you know, that is something uh, very common. That's a problem very common that some students have. And something very easy that you can do. Remember that adjective is a characteristic. But if you are not sure, if you see a word that you don't know exactly what is the function, easy, just go to the dictionary. I recommend you this dictionary. The name is Lingue. You can uh, search the, uh, this one online, or you can use the app. You can download 
the app on your cell phone. So for example, imagine you need to know what is the function of the word. For example, uh, imagine that we are using the word coin. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's search for the word coin. Ah, moneda. Okay, but what is the function? Is that an adjective or is that a noun? Look in this dictionary, they will tell you. So look. I mean, mm -hmm. y si dice sustantivo, is like a noun. Sustantivo y nombre is the same. Okay, so that okay. means it's not an adjective, it's a noun. Or another word, for example, a sweet, look, is that an adjective or is that a noun? Look. Oh. Okay, with, with some mm -hmm. word like that, I, I have problem because mm -hmm. uh, when, for example, when you, have a conversation with another person, uh, you don't have time to looking for a, a word. Mm -hmm. so, and it's a little difficult. That's true. So in this case, as you said, it's just with the practice. So just remember, if it is giving you a characteristic adjective, if it is not giving you a characteristic, in that case, it's a noun, simple as yes. that. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, sometimes I, I'm trying to look for a website about coffee, mm -hmm. but, uh, <clears throat> but I, I always have, I have problems when I, I have a conversation. Mm -hmm. But it's don't difficult. worry, little by little. Remember yeah. that, that that is the main purpose for intermediate level. So to talk, but you are doing it. I mean, during the breaking rooms, during uh, the speaking practice, I can see that you are trying, you are speaking. I know that is difficult, but you are doing it and that's great, okay? Okay, okay, teacher. I, I, improve, I try to improve because mm -hmm. um, let, me, let me tell you, in the, in the morning when I have breakfast, I, I listen to the conversation in English and I I tried to memorize some word for to learn little by little. Ah, very good. I try, I improve. Excellent. And you are improving a lot. And I know that you will continue improving. And something very nice is I saw that you already finished the full platform. Very good. Yeah, but is some I I I want to say that uh, when I have enough time or free times, I try mm -hmm. to do, but you know I work. Uh, from Monday to yeah. Saturday. Monday, I just I want to read, but it's difficult because uh, sometimes I I have to do a, a, a another things at home, or I have to go to the another place visit my mother. Mm -hmm. or, yeah, it's difficult. It's difficult, but the the the, the last week we had a. Vacation, I I finish. Excellent, but you are doing a great job. So uh, keep going like that. You are improving. I know that you will continue improving. Practice and remember, every time that you have a question or every time that there is a topic that maybe you don't understand very well, you can tell me and I will explain to you. Okay. Okay. Uh, just tell me, tell you something. Yes. And my my wife is studying English online too by Great. support. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, she's studying to from seven to eight. Mm -hmm. nine. For this reason, I connect a little late in the in the tablet. But before I do it in my in my cell phone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no yes. problem, no worries. Okay, thank you for your comprehension. <laughs> yeah, no worries. And now that your wife is studying English too, you can practice each other, okay? Yes. Yes, there. just I, I wear in the... Uh, she's studying field level. 
Ah, so you will help her. Ah, yes. <laughs> Very do. good. Excellent. Okay. Very good. Okay, Nelson, we don't have more time. Uh, so you are doing a great job. Keep going, keep practicing. And any question, just let me know. Okay? Okay. Thank you. You're very welcome. Have a good night and see you tomorrow. See you, teacher. Bye.